This is Austin with One Wheel Parts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install our epoxy foot pad sensor sealant. Remove the cap and apply the mixing tip. Any non-foam grip tape is safe to epoxy while still on the sensor. If you apply the epoxy to existing grip tape, it won't stick to it and you will be able to easily change it out. You cannot, however, apply epoxy to foam grip tape. If you epoxy while foam grip tape is installed, it can cause your sensor to detect pressure. You will need to apply epoxy before installing any foam grip tape. Be sure to bleed the line of around a dime sized amount to ensure proper mixing. Go around the edges of the sensor while applying a thin bead of epoxy. This epoxy protects and seals the edges of the sensor so it doesn't come apart and allow water and dirt to get into the sensor. If water does get into your sensor, it will remain constantly engaged. We recommend applying this product as soon as possible to extend the longevity of your foot pad. It also keeps your sensor layers from slipping. This is especially helpful for heavier riders. After application, it must cure flat to prevent runoff and pooling. So if you are installing this while your foot pad is on your board, Prop it up so it remains level and flat. Our epoxy is a flexible, impact resistant polymer. This is not your 15 minute cure brittle epoxy. It's paintable and sandable, so you can use it to repair damage caused by impacts and crashes. We recommend this over silicone, as silicone is not durable, not paintable, and offers no impact resistance. Once it's cured, you're ready to start shredding again. This has been Austin with One Wheel Parts. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook.